I ran to work this morning with Bob. Um, Bob causes me a few issues with flat tyres, but today we managed to get to work with no flat tyre, but Bob didn't get a flat. The work van did. So we got someone on the case right now, but he's just snapped his spanner thing, trying to get the wheel off, so just gone down the road to try and find another spanner from a garage. So a fun day. I'm just gonna drink my smoothie and wait, I guess. And then crack on when we're ready to roll. Probably get back to the office and find that Bob's got a puncture. Or we'll get one on the way home. And it's probably going to rain, so it's a good day. Get home eventually. I try and fix it myself, can I? It's, I've been driving it, it's not that bad. Should have just got on with it. I'm running home! <sighs> Up the hill. <sighs> Got the flat tyre sorted after half an hour. But this morning I ran to work and I lost my top. Not the top I'm wearing, but I had another layer because it was chilly. But I took it off quite early and I stuck it on top of the uh, the roof. Oh, we got to slow down, aren't they? Too high. And uh, five minutes after I took my top off, I looked at the sole and went, "Where's my shirt?" Gone. And then uh, almost got to work and I looked down and my clothes bag was hanging out the side. And then when I was changing for work, I was like, I'm sure I put a spare pair of socks in because it was wet this morning. Don't like running with wet socks. But it wasn't a pair. I was just running up the road here. Guess what I found? The socks have fell out of my bag. Now all we've got to do is find my top, but I know where that should be, roughly. That's a little while yet. See if we find it. Me and Bob made it home. Um, I didn't find my bright orange luminous running top. So somebody must have helped themselves. Good luck. It's one of those ones I was going to throw away anyway, so someone might get some use out of it to find something else for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, good job, baby. Good job. We're going to the first play group of the year, so it's been a while since we've gone. I'm very interested to see how she plays today because she's been playing very different than she has before. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I'm running late. That's why I'm a bit off always running late for this. On playgroup mornings, you always wake up late. Party. Are you having a tea party? Okay. You're a strong girl, Riley. Show Mama how strong you are. Uh, uh, you want me to put it back up for you? Uh. nearly afternoon guys it is a gorgeous gorgeous day in England we were supposed to do something really nice and lovely and outside today we were thinking of going to Stratford upon Avon am I saying that funny okay I said it right um, but 
Yeah, it's not quite the weather for that. Dunk says Shakespeare's territory or whatever he said, something like that. So uh, anyway, we're going to London to pick up my friend who's visiting from the US because she's going to spend a couple days at ours, um, which is lovely because I've not seen her in a long time. Um, yeah, and we're just going to hang around the mall instead of doing a beautiful, lovely day in Stratford. Also, I've not really been vlogging much this week. It's just been, I don't know. Yeah, like, like Dunk says, it's been meh. 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 Give me in. You're in. Okay. We're just walking around the mall. The fancy, expensive mall. We're stuck here with the sleeping baby. I was hoping we'd be leaving before she took her nap so she could nap on the way home, but that didn't happen. Now just waiting for her to wake up so she can have a run around and then we'll probably go have some dinner with my friend who's still out and about. Got a professional shopper. <laughs> We're doing pizza party Friday night on the go. Because somebody made us late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized something. This is a little spicy. Is it? I've got Picasso doing her thing. <laughs> ah, did mommy put that in your way? There you go. Ooh, that is very pretty, Riley. Wow. Morning. Um, it's a scarecrow weekend. Scarecrow festival. That there, outside the pub, is a scarecrow, I think. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Got his butt hanging out. Interesting. Could be an interesting day. Got someone hanging out your window. That could be you. Oh, <laughs> could be. my kind of people. It's a mermaid. Look at that one. Pirate thing. I want to steal it could come in quite useful. We just opened up in our town. How cool. Uh, yeah, Amalia is coming to visit England and we've taken her to our town center. Very fancy, right? But she's taking pictures. So it is interesting. It's actually a video. <laughs> because Don't Stop Me Now is playing. <laughs> That's my friend there buying bananas. It's really funny because who would ever have thought that somebody visiting us would need to buy bananas? Yeah. But we've got no bananas in the house right now. We're desperately trying to get Riley to nap. She's well overdue, but she has no interest in napping right now. I don't know what to do. A girl in her element. What you got? Stones. <laughs> I like Angie. I like Dallas. 
is down there with the roux. <laughs> Gotta go in here, Riley. Here, you hold. You hold. You hold. Take it. Do. No, you do. You do. You do. Oh, you missed it. Bubble. <laughs> Bubbles. Smoking your pipe. <laughs> Whoa. More bubbles. More. Whoa. The little bubbles are all stuck Whoa. in there. Ha. 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 Bubbles. for you no more. You can blow them yourself. It's proving. Bubbles in her hair. <laughs> it's actually hours from the last clip, but Riley's still uh, watching Peppa Pig and uh, blowing bubbles, which I think is what she was doing exactly in the last clip. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to actually end the vlog because otherwise that would have been a very awkward cutoff at the end of the vlog. Um, We've got another car seat in the house because we're bringing that to America, which we're going to in a couple days. Hooey. But we had to bring that in because in the UK, we don't have chest clips on car seats. It's actually against the law, but we had to um, put a chest clip on it so we could use it in America. So that's why it's in the house because we wanted to get the chest clip on it so we can use it while we're there. So we don't have to pay 90 pounds, 90 pounds to rent a car seat for just the week, um, which is what we've done in the past, which really sucks to do that. Just, I mean, you can buy a car seat. Well, the thing is, is like, yes, car seats are much more expensive than that as well. But the car seats they give you, they give you like the $30 car seats and they charge you 90 quid. I mean, 90 quid is like over $100. Or was it ninety dollars? Ninety one dollars. Oh, sorry, ninety one dollars, not ninety quid. So that it, that is a difference. But ninety one dollars when the car seats aren't even worth that much money that they give you. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight, and I will see you guys for our next video. Anybody want to say goodbye? I can't show Riley right now. <laughs> I can't show Riley. There we go. She was in a compromising position. It's really hard to vlog her these days. Really hard. <laughs> Bye guys.